Hi, I'm Layo Adegoke. Here's your channel's TV evening news recap for February the 4th, 2022. The former head of interim national government, Ernest Shoneko, has been buried and in a four-day funeral rite that began on Monday. Shoneko was buried at Ebony Vaults in Ikoi, Lagos on Friday after a funeral service held at the Cathedral Church of Christ. Vice President Yemi Oshimaju and the Secretary to the Government of Federation, Boss Mustafa, were among dignitaries who graced the service. Meanwhile, a former Nigerian Army spokesperson, Brigadier General Sani Usman, has asked authorities to look at the feats attained by the Nigerian Armed Forces and stop denigrating the military even as the war against insurgency rages on. General Usman made the call on Friday while appearing as a guest on Channel's television's Sunrise Daily. And students of Ondo State Government-owned Adekule Ajasi University, Akungba Akoko, have trooped to the streets to protest incessant road crashes close to the university campus. The students were aggravated by the most recent of such road crashes that happened on Thursday night. A road crash had claimed the life of a former student of the university, Michael Akinii, leading to the protests. On the international scene, Moscow and Beijing have criticized what they said was negative U.S. influence both in Europe and the Asia-Pacific region after a meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. And in sports, Nigeria's flag was hoisted in China on Friday as the opening ceremony of the Beijing Winter Olympics commenced. The Games are holding as the world continues to struggle to turn the page on the troubled build-up overshadowed by human rights concerns and COVID. And that's the evening news recap. Visit channelstv.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Layo Adegoke. Thank you for watching.